Hello my lovelies and welcome back. Today we're gonna try clickbait beauty products. These are the products that you see and you're like, wow, that is too good to be true. Let's start with this first one. This right here is by Self Beauty and this is their volume lip filler. It's pretty much a sticker for your lips to make them bigger and it's supposed to last two to seven days. It's supposed to give you plump, more full, more volume in your lips, but it's not supposed to hurt. It's It sounds really incredible. So if this works, this is gonna be pretty awesome. Let's give this a go. Wow, $80 right here. How much are lip injections usually? How much do they cost? It says traditional injection treatments cost between 400 and 1200. Oh, okay. And you can see the micro needles in here. It's kind of like a zit sticker or like the pimple patches that if you've used, you can kind of see and feel the super, super, super tiny needles, but it doesn't hurt. But I'm really curious about this right here. Now let's measure my lips. This is happening. We're actually gonna measure them. Basically from the Cupid's bow to the bottom of my lip because what they say, you see the biggest drastic result right here on your Cupid's bow. That's where it erases your lip. One inch. Pretty sure that's one inch from top to bottom. Okay, don't move. You got three quarters right now. So we're gonna do the top lip first. So it says remove the protective film without touching the micro needles in the middle. Place the patch, make sure the micro needles areas cover each lip. Okay. I'm just watching their video. So does it hurt? Mm -mm. No, you don't feel the needles? Mm, you can heal, but... Feel, but it's not like real uh -uh. needles. Mm -mm. It's salivating. <laughs> and then you have to sit like that for two hours? No, I'm just pinching it right now on my lip to make sure the needles actually like, penetrate. It actually feels good. Feels okay? Mm -hmm. Is it nice and tight? Mm -hmm. Yeah? It looks better on the model in the video because she has really big lips already. Yeah. <laughs> so they basically say start in the center and like work your way towards the outer portion of your lips. The lips already look bigger. <laughs> I like that there's two sections, not just the one section over your lips, you know? Wow, that looks great. Okay. Two hours. Let's do this. Two hours is up. <laughs> okay, let's take them off. Let's take off the top one first. <laughs> I'm nervous. Ooh. Hard to take off. Oh, okay, that's actually painful. Yeah, it's like ripping out all of my little mustache hairs. Oh, it's just the hairs. <sighs> oh, at least we know that he's oh. Ooh. They feel good, but they feel funny. They feel wrinkly. Let's see if it's any bigger. Yeah. If it's actually bigger or not. What was it? Three quarters? Three quarters, yeah. Mine was an inch. I don't see much difference. Maybe max an eighth bigger. If anything, they look more plump. Like right here on the cupids, but kind of like how they said, like towards the top, they look a little bit more full. Yeah, I definitely noticed that they were more plump. They're like just more round. Tomorrow, we'll see what the lips look like. If there is any kind of difference today, I will keep you guys updated because we still have like a lot of the day left. See if there's any difference. I'm gonna take this with me so we can measure my lips. <laughs> Keep measuring them. It's not accurate at all. It's just for my own sake yeah. to see if there is a big difference or not. That's that's why I'm measuring my lips. <laughs> it's literally for myself. <laughs> so two days later, we're back at the studio and wanted to see how the lips are looking, how they're feeling, things like that. Is there a difference? Are they smaller? Are they the same? Have they shrunk? So before we get into that, I will say that we are looking at the footage right here from that day that I did the patches, the stickers. Cause I was trying to understand, was there a major difference? And I feel like there was a difference, but it was really minute. It definitely doesn't have like longer lasting effects. <laughs> so, okay, overall, I will say that if you're thinking you're gonna get that before and after, like really defined, plumpier, fuller looking lips, and it's gonna last you for days. I don't think that's what's gonna happen in my humble opinion. <laughs> this is very expensive. It's a one-time use. The question is, are those uh, plumping- Lip glosses? Lip glosses, I, do they do the pretty much the same thing? Well, they basically, they have that like minty sensation, so you could just reapply the lip, glo lip gloss yeah. for that day or that event, you know what I mean? Much cheaper. Yes, much and cheaper. And you can reapply it really fast. Yes. This you have to put on, you, you know. You have to wait there for two hours. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a major pass. 
So this next one looks very intriguing. This right here is by the brand Iris and Romeo, and this is called their Best Skin Days. $64. This right here is a five-in-one breakthrough formula. It's a serum, a moisturizer, a sheer coverage, sunscreen, and a blue light slash pollution protector. <laughs> A lot going on, but let's give this a go. So what they're saying this, it's supposed to even out your skin tone and deliver a light coverage with a healthy, dewy glow to your skin. So warm a small amount of product in hands and then dot on clean face, forehead, cheeks, nose, and chin, and then blend with fingertips. It's very, very thick, very mousse-like. Interesting. It's definitely very thick. It's blending in really nice. I'm having no issues with this product. It feels really nice on the skin. It's definitely thicker, but my, we're using my fingers and the warmth of my fingers on my face, it's, it's feeling really good. It's not really providing any coverage. Like not a lot of co coverage. It's very, very, very sheer, just like they said. It doesn't feel greasy. It doesn't feel tacky. Just apply a little bit more product in areas where I want more coverage. I will say it does feel really nice. It smells really good. It smells really fresh and clean, like a clean rose. <laughs> okay, so it's definitely giving me a really subtle glow to my face. It doesn't look extra shiny. It doesn't look super, super glowy. It actually looks really nice. It kind of looks like I have a very light tinted moisturizer on my face, but it doesn't really get rid of all that redness. You can still see the redness on my chin and on my cheeks, but it's a little more even. I'm just applying a little concealer by Hint Beauty. I've been really, really, really liking this one. I'm just going over these pimples and then under the eyes as well. Hmm. Bronzer is going on really nice and I'm not using any powder because I really want to see how it's going to wear on its own. And then for blush, I'm just using my Alme. This is their Healthy Hue Blush. Oh, everything's going on really nice on top of this makeup. All right, so this next one is called or it's by The Flutter Habit. And this is their Lux Faux Mink Eyelashes. This is their Happy, the Happy Medium. The only thing I will say I had to purchase, they sell this lash glue, but it's like their alternative to their Flutter Habit lashes. The clear and the black were sold out. So we'll see how good this one is. It's not rated as good. This is the Glad Girl Lash Lock Adhesive. It's $6.99. So this kit, the six lashes for one time purchase, it's $29.99. So they say, to remove from the card, use your fingers and pinch the fibers of the lash segment and gently remove it from the card. Then step two, you basically prep the lashes. And what they say is holding the fibers between, use your fingers to gently pull off any glue. You can see like there is white clear to hold on to the card. So you basically just wanna pull that off. Then it says, apply your adhesive. Starting with the outer corner section, you basically hold the lash segment with your tweezers. And then in the other hand, you basically use the glue to apply. And I watched their videos and they said, use it, not use it let this sit for like 20 to 30 seconds to get nice and tacky and then apply it to your eye. Nope. Wow, it's like having a really hard time. Either those glue sucks or I don't know, not doing something right. That is dangerous. Wow, this glue is like not even tacky. All right, and they say don't touch this, like at all. We'll have a chance to fix this. You can kind of adjust doing that, but basically just let it do its thing. All right, so basically like you saw me doing this, you have to kind of use your non-dominant hand to kind of lift your eyelash up and you wanna place the lashes pretty much parallel to your lash line, like, like to your waterline right there, but not on your waterline. They have to sit on your lashes. So that's why lifting it up like so. We're 
getting somewhere. <laughs> and I'm trying not to move too much, just to kind of let it do its thing. So the next one. Getting this glue everywhere. Whoops. Okay, we got something. And I think I'm gonna do one more, but I'm actually gonna cut off the very last one because it's the shortest one. I feel like that one might be even like a little too long. And I'm finding with this one, you have to kind of just go in right away with the glue. Maybe like a couple of seconds, but not 20 to 30. Last one, like right there. Oh, that looks bad. <laughs> Pick up to fix this inner corner ones. Okay, so I have the one eye done. I'm not gonna touch it un until it's like fully dried and I'm gonna come back and use my clamps. These are just by Velour and just kind of clamp every section together. But let's move on to the other eye and let's do the same thing. Just using my fingers. And I basically used every section except for the last one where I cut the shortest section. So just like repeating to myself what I did. And I'm just working from the outer corner into the inner corner. And I'm kind of just like playing with the amount of glue that I need. I kind of like that it's black and not clear just because I can really see where I'm placing <laughs> the lashes, you know? I'm gonna let this left eye set <laughs> with the lashes and we're gonna move on to the next product. This right here is a cotton swab lipstick. So it's literally a lipstick in a cotton swap form, which is so fascinating. This is $9.99 on Amazon. Cute little packaging. You open this up and you have a bunch of Q-tips in here. So let's just get one. Oh, wait, do you choose colors? Oh, there's dark, light, and a medium red. Let's do a red. So you open this up out of the Q-tip, okay. You can see the lipstick inside. So put the cotton swab vertically, break the end with the horizontal line mark, and the lip tattoo will flow to the other end. Oh, okay. Oh, ooh, that was quick. Oh, wow, okay, okay, ooh, it's leaking. <laughs> okay, let's put it on. It's definitely not super, super pigmented. It's kind of like I was eating like an ice cream, you know? Like a popsicle in a way. Okay, that's a really pretty color though. That's cool, one time use. Oh, it's actually really pretty. It's really soft. We'll see how this lasts, you know? Drinking, eating dinner. I'll give you guys definitely an update. And then of course, the lashes. All right, so these lashes, they're a little bit wonky and they're not the easiest to work with. <laughs> I don't know if it's this lash glue because this lash glue kind of sucks. So I can't really give a full review with the lash glue because their lash glue is sold out, but I did buy this on their own website and it's not rated the best. So I will say the glue itself is having a little bit of a hard time attaching the lashes to my real lashes, but at least this eye looks actually really good, right? But we'll do the real tests, you know, taking a shower and seeing if they even last a day. Moving on to the lip stain, you can see it's still doing something really weird. It's not really wanting to stain my cupid's bow area. What is that? It's very uneven and I applied two layers of this. So it definitely looks like I was sucking on a popsicle and it's just like right here, right in the center, which is totally fine. But we'll see how long this lasts and I'll see you guys in a little bit for the update. I didn't think I was gonna do an update before the very end of the night, but I asked Andre, I just made some dinner. We just, uh, well, I just finished eating and I go, babe, how my lips looking? He goes, pretty much gone. This is what's left after eating dinner. Very little around the cupid's bow and a little bit right here. It kind of looks like I have a little bit of lip liner on, but I'm actually not impressed with the longevity. You know, when something has a name like tattoo in the name, Oh yeah. you, you expect it to last a lot longer. But also let's look at the lashes. Something, something weird right here. These, these last two on the left eye, they're just not wanting to cooperate. But this eye right here, everything seems pretty comfortable. Like feels really comfortable, except for a little bit right here on the corner. It's kind of poking, but not in a really weird way where I want to rip it out. 
it's pretty good, but I'm just really curious how it's going to last after the shower. I'm kind of having high doubts that lashes are gonna be there. All right, I'll see you guys tonight. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly talk about the lip product and the foundation, that 501 product, before we do the lashes. So the lip product, you can see, kind of still looks like a lip liner. You can see a little bit at the top and a little bit towards the bottom. Everything else is gone, so it's not like a super long-lasting product. I think it's definitely fun. Maybe like to travel with, keep it in your purse. If you want like a lip color, I think that's okay. But yeah, it's not the best thing ever. And it is, it's not super long lasting by any means. What's next? The actual foundation, the five in one product. Um, what can I say about it? It's not also super long lasting. It's like in a lot of the parts, like the product has just kind of disappeared. Maybe because it's like a moisturizer, a little like a tinted skin tint in a way, but it's definitely acting like a skin tint. It doesn't have longevity. It doesn't have the crazy coverage, but I do think it's good for people that want that skincare infused in their makeup. I'm not like super impressed with this product, but I do think, like I said, people that like skincare and their makeup in one, I think they'll enjoy it, but it is very pricey. But if you're gonna break it down to like a serum, a moisturizer, a tinted serum, then you can maybe justify the price, but like I don't see myself using this on a daily basis just because if I want the coverage, I will just go out of my way and get the coverage from my other products along with my skincare. Um, these eyelashes, I'm getting to a point where I wanna rip them off my eyes. <laughs> They're not super comfortable. They're like kind of annoying in a lot of the areas. And this eye right here, like I said, the, the two lashes that I had to fix three times, they're just still not wanting to kind of stay put. They're like just adjusting. So I'm gonna take a shower and we'll see how the lashes are lasting. This eye is actually still looking really good besides it poking right here in the outer corner, which is annoying <laughs> okay so i'm gonna take a shower and we'll be right back and see how the results are <laughs> you giving kisses good job out of the shower makeup is washed lashes are still on they're feeling very very heavy i'm not trying to like rub them or anything but what i'm seeing is <laughs> these two lashes i feel like they're barely holding on do you see that Look at that. <laughs> this was not bad, actually, the right eye. I feel like you can also see it right here. You can see that a gap from my real lashes to the actual lash extensions or just the lashes in general. I'm gonna do my skincare and I'll see you guys tomorrow morning to see how these lashes are <laughs> doing. All I can see are just lashes right here. <laughs> and you can feel them moving like you close your eyes a little bit and you can feel them right there. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. I just hit myself in the face. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> you can probably see how the lashes have lasted. I lost these two overnight. <laughs> I actually woke up and I felt something on my face and I'm like, what is that? It was a lash. It was this one right here. And then this morning, this one fell out. I, could, I literally felt it also. They're both on my nightstand. <laughs> this one right here is barely holding on. Yep, there it is. I'm barely pulling these off. Like these are coming off really easy. So I think it's first, I think it's the glue. Like I said in the beginning, it was just not doing a good thing. <laughs> it just didn't have enough like tackiness. And then I think also because, you know, I took a shower that night, so you know, it's like a combination of things, but I think honestly it is that glue. If you have tried these lashes before, have you tried both types of glues? Their actual glue and then their, their other glue that I've tried. So I think the only product that is worth looking into is that five in one. But I think if you're on the drier side for your skin, the five in one, Face product. I think if you're drier, definitely prep your skin beforehand with your skincare. But if you're more oilier, definitely use that with like a toner and then like an eye cream if that's what you're going for. But it's definitely for those days where you want minimal amount of coverage, but you also have all of your skincare combined. 
and yeah i think you might really enjoy it because it does have really good ingredients in there but everything else was kind of a fail so i'm gonna leave it here thank you so much for watching spending time with me and these interesting products and we'll see the next one very soon bye